Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Card up on defense here, back in the video today. In this video, we're talking to you guys about the season seven Jordan Poole animation, seventy two to twenty four. Before getting into that new channel, sub button, or two thousand subscribers, share, like, comment as well. And yeah, let's get into this video. So, it's a little weird that Jordan Poole's animation in the game, but of course Jamal Murray was already added when the game first came out. So it's a little weird that they decided to make it Jamal Murray's season. But anyways, first thing, the free throw. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the free throw first, but obviously I skipped over the jump. Should be later on. Free throw. I mean, it's it's all right. If you guys want to try it out. I thought it was just okay. I don't think it's better than a lot of the other ones, but it's a decent one. If you, maybe you like it, you might be able to use it and be effective with it. Dribble pull up. His front fade is not bad. Like his, if you're just running up to the three point line shooting, it's not that bad. But if you're trying to go left to right, it's just not enough space and very, very slow in terms of uh, being able to get the shot off. So I don't think it's really worth using. Hop jumper. Again, takes too long. Look at that step back, man. It just takes too long. And obviously doesn't show all the hop jumpers here. But from what I tested, left and right in both directions, it's just really not great. Motion style, I really didn't notice the difference from a lot of the other ones. I mean, it's not nearly as fast as Alex Caruso, and I really don't think it's worth using compared to some other ones. Uh, I mean, if you want to try it out, you can. I really don't think it's really worth even mentioning and looking at. The signature size up now. Jordan Poole's size up is not bad. I think it's decent for an 80 ball handle. So if you have like an 80 ball handle, if you're like a 6'5 with no ball handle higher than 80, that's just kind of ridiculous. I don't know why 2K didn't decide to make the 6'9 and under. It really just doesn't make sense because who's going to have an 80 ball handle and use that on a 6'5 and under? Kind of ridiculous. So regular breakdown. This one's not that great either. His aggressive is even worse. I really don't think you would even want to use this. It's just a turnover waiting to happen. And I mean, it's cool that you like flick his hand back and trying to call the defender back over, but you're not going to cook anyone with that unless you really know what you're doing. And combo moves. I think his combo moves are just okay. Again, not really great. Uh, his tween cross is okay, but the rest of it, I mean, wouldn't really bother. Like the side to side is cool. I just don't think it's as good as other ones. Cross or you got layup styles. No, sorry. Uh, his layup is great. If you like circus layups or Jamal Crawford of previous years, that's literally what it is. So it's if you like using Jamal Crawford layups and have been pretty effective using it, it's definitely not bad by any means. It's just again only six five and under is killer because there's a lot of people that would love to use that layup package on taller builds. Now, as far as the jump shot, don't even look at it. Six five and under only, just ridiculous that it's only that because it's too slow to even be on a small guard. Like if you're six four. I mean, you obviously can get tested a little bit less, but it's still too slow to even mention it for a 6'4". Again, just another jump shot that Tuki doesn't know where to put, and there's kind of waste of this opportunity as an animation because it would be way better than a 6'9 if you're tall. I mean, it's not the best jump shot in the game, but it is decently smooth. It's just a little slow. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hope we'll you see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.